I'm at Macy's and look at this. They didn't even destroy anything. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Hey guys, I'm at my anthropology dumpster and it looks like they threw a pretty big bag full of stuff out. I don't know what all is in here, but it looks like there's a bunch of really good stuff in here. So I'm just gonna take this whole bag with me. As I'm digging, I actually found this and it's a pottery barn dumpster. So everything I'm finding is from pottery barn. I also just found this box full of some really nice plates and whatever this is. And there's something in here as well. There's also a Vans dumpster right here. And I don't know, someone must have bought new shoes and they threw away their old ones but there's, they still look like they're in pretty good condition. Maybe they can be washed up. Okay, I got everything from Pottery Barn out. I also have this bag to go through still, but I'm gonna start with this stuff. So there's some really nice plates and all of these ones are not broken. They were in with a couple of broken ones. These little cups are so pretty. They look like they're probably expensive too. And then a couple of things here. This was new in the box, still wrapped up. And then this looks like it might have been used. This picture frame is gorgeous, so pretty. And look at the price on that. I saw that price tag, $60 for this picture frame. That's insane. Look at how cute these robes are. So this one goes for $150 online. And then this one goes for $120. This one has a little monogram, still has the tags on it. And then this one is just like a fluffy one without tags. And the last thing from Pottery Barn are these little decor ball things and then a really nice bath rug. Okay, so I cleaned up the shoes and they actually came out really nice. And they are men's, but they fit me just fine. And I'm probably gonna end up keeping these actually. Hey guys, I found this really cool score. I'm at the mall right now and there's this store called AOA Studio and they threw a ton of makeup away and then there's some more in this box and then i think there's a huge box full of like hair accessories so i'm just gonna grab these put these in the car and check out what's in this box oh my gosh so this is crazy this full box is a really big box too it's just loaded with a bunch of hair stuff and accessories more makeup stuff this box is just stuffed all the way full with a bunch of random beauty and hair stuff. There's more that just came out of this bag. Okay, here's the makeup I found. So just a bunch of different types of makeup in here. Some powder, looks like blush, a little bit of everything. And then this one has more. It looks like these are a bunch of liquid makeups, LA colors, and they're all sealed still, all brand new. I don't know why they threw these away, but there's so much makeup. In this big box, it's just a ton of hair stuff, like hair bows, and there's even socks. Look at how cute those are. Bunny socks. Everything's still in its packaging. I'm sure this could have been donated. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what I stumbled across at the mall. This is insane. I don't know why they would have thrown all this stuff out but it does say summer wall so maybe this was left over from summer for some reason they just throw it away instead of either donating it or saving it for next year but i'm gonna be taking this box to go drop off i'm gonna preferably find something targeted towards women like maybe a women's shelter because there's a lot of stuff in here for women hey guys i'm at my mall dumpster i'm checking and i found a bag from fossil it says damage done slash throw out and it actually has some purses and wallets in here. So you can see like they did damage them. They took squares out of them, like little cuts, so they can't be used. Same thing with the wallets. They cut them and just destroyed them. There's a few more things in here I'm gonna take a look at and pull this bag out. I checked the other side and there's a bunch of these. I don't know what store they're from. They're just loose in the dumpster but they're all sealed up still. I see like five or six of them. Okay, I took everything with me and I was gonna show you guys in the daytime. The bag itself says damage done slash throw out. And the first thing was this purse, which was a really cute purse, pretty color, but they made squares and they slashed it up. 
like you can see it's brand new it still has all of the stuffing in it they even cut the straps up too but really other than the holes that they made i don't see anything else wrong with it might have had like a little stain but it's insane to do that um look at all of these these are all wallets uh they slashed all of these up as well took squares out of them scratched them but everything that they threw away got damaged like this. This is what Fawful does to either the returns or things that might have gotten damaged in the store. And the last thing from here was this big bag. If you look at the price tag, $280 for this. And they just slash it up. Same thing on this side. They made a big square in it. They just cut a hole. But really nice bag, nice stuff but they just completely trash it for whatever reason, whatever it was damaged. Hopefully I can find someone that can repurpose these, at least use the leather, but I'm just not sure. It's pretty mind-blowing. I've found some stuff like this at Coach before. They do the same thing to their stuff, and after they got exposed, they stopped doing it apparently, so I'm not sure. I haven't found anything else from them, but Fossil definitely needs to change their policy because this is crazy. And then here are the card games I found. I can't figure out what store these are from, but I'm guessing probably like Spencer's or Hot Topic, but all of these are still brand new, wrapped up in their packaging. So not too sure why they threw these away, but pretty cool find. Hey guys, I'm at a Macy's dumpster and I found this bag here and it's full of like Dior boxes and Coach. I was kind of going through it and it feels pretty heavy, so it might have some stuff in here. I'm just going to grab this whole bag and take it with me. Hopefully we can get lucky. Okay, I'm so excited to go through this bag. So there's a bunch of like name brand boxes. I can tell some of them are empty. But then there's a bunch in here that are not. I first opened this bag inside the dumpster. I thought that it was just a bunch of like empty boxes. But then I opened this. This was like right outside of the bag. And I saw it actually was full and it had makeup inside. So I started digging and I can tell like a bunch of these boxes actually have stuff in there. I'm starting to go through the bag and I'm finding a bunch of good stuff in here. So I'm finding like these things. I don't know what these are. And then like all of this stuff is in the box. It's crazy. I just finished going through everything and I'm so excited. So most of these boxes back here that had the perfumes are empty. So I don't know if the employees get to take those home, but all of these skincare and makeup boxes are all in there. A lot of name brands like MAC, S.A. Lauder, Tom Ford, Clinique. There's just a bunch of different stuff. Like this still has the seal on it. So I'm gonna pull them out and show you guys. I just pulled everything out of the box so you guys can see it. But it's insane, just a lot of really high-end makeup and skincare brands, all of it new in the box. So this was my Macy's dumpster at the mall. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is my Bath & Body Works dumpster and looks like they threw a bunch of damaged things out, like broken candles. Uh, looks like there's a bag here, so I'm going to check it out and see what all is in here. All right, I just pulled all of these out. So there are five broken candles and it looks like they just need a new glass. That one is used, but the rest of these are brand new. Oh, except this one. So there's a little one that's broken and used as well. I also found this bag and it looks like they threw away some fall scents and they're all still full. They didn't dump them out or anything. A couple of those. Oh, this is nice too. And then I also saw a really cute wallflower really cute holiday wallflower and then there's a couple more of these and i found this bag with some really cute snow globes there's two of these santa ones and then i think there's some more stuff in the bag also looks like there's some lotion a couple of wallflowers and some plugins here's everything i found from bath and body works i also have a couple of little mystery bags i haven't opened them up yet but they look like they might have some good stuff starting out with these these are some really cute christmas snow globes candle holders um this one is perfectly fine this one is missing the top but can still definitely be used and then i found this candle holder which is really cute there's a couple of wallflower plugins and then the scents right here this one was leaking a little bit and a lotion actually this is a hand sanitizer not a lotion 
Now I'm moving on to the mystery bags. I'm so excited to open these up. They are pretty heavy. This one I already know is probably a wallflower. First bag is a broken wallflower. So bag number two is actually the missing piece to the candle holder. And it just goes on like that. And it is so cute. Look at that. And the last bag has a broken candle. And it's new. And it fits right into the candle holder. Look at how cute this is. Okay, anyways, look at how cute the candle holder is.